hello everyone this is kenny brandy from cambridge tech and welcome back to the channel so in this series of videos we are learning python and this is specifically essence 207 programming for engineers a course taught at the university of ghana so if you have been following along we have this particular structure we have been following or we have been going through and currently we're on chapter 19 where we are looking at a student mis and this is basically an object oriented programming concept you want to implement over here for a student mis and this is just about the third video in this particular chapter and in the first video we looked at building some classes over here and we have been following along with these instructions over here let me just collapse this so that we have a much wider slate and then in the second part of the video we did some inheritance over here and in the third part of the video we are going to look at writing methods over here so over here we are going to write methods for the student class and the first method we are going to write is the add course then we are going to look at the drop course and we are going to look at print all courses to mimic a real world use case of activities of adding a course deleting a course and printing registered courses respectively a student will perform on the student mis so this is something we have been doing at least as students so let's see how maybe a code can be written to implement this so we want to add a course and currently the course is an empty list as you can see over here because if i am to come back here and create a student object so i have student one and this student is going to be a creation of this student's class i need to provide a name and i think i was using joanna jones so i'll do joanna jones I have over here and the age i'm going to set to 19 and the hall of residence i think i use mensa saba all right so the course is initially set to none and we are saying that if the courses is none then it should be an empty list else then we would want to work with it so currently there's no error over here and if i'm to print out my student one objects so student one dots and i have all these attributes over here i have these methods over here because i'm inheriting from the person class over here and i have her last name and initials and there are some few things we are going to discuss later but then if i'm to do courses over here and run this this is an empty list and we are going to work with this so since there's a method for students i can do def and i'll say add underscore course over here and now i'm going to pass in self remember self is the first parameter we pass and that's going to be the instance of the class so i pass in self over here and i would want to have an instance where i can pass in the course title so the course title is very important and now i can simply do this now remember initially this is a list so for instance you could see that when i'm printing students one dot courses it tells me that there's an empty list good so now this is what i can do i can now see that because this is a list i can do self dot courses and when i do self dot courses i'm just traversing through and going into courses over here. and because this course is a list as you can see over here i can now do dots and i have append over here remember some of the things we used to do that when we we're working with lists we had the append method and stuff like that so now what do i want to append i want to append and it says append object to end of the list so in this case i want to like let's say append the name of the course and the name of the course is the attributes or the parameter i'm passing over here so i'll say course title and currently you can see that it's very simple but then we are going to modify some few things over here so now if i'm to come in here and now see student one okay this student one registered some courses and an example is i can do add course over here so now if i'm to say python student one has added python so now i'm printing the courses over here now when i run this you can see that i have python in this list now i can also do let's say student one dot add course 
and if I'm to do let's say calculus and save this now you could see that the courses that student one has registered you have python and calculus and it can go on and on and on but there's something interesting over here now let me see i bring in another calculus and save this and run this i have two calculuses over here if i'm to do for instance student one dot add course and i bring in another python we also have two pythons over here and clearly this may not be a very good implementation of what we have because we cannot have an instance where a student register the same course three or four times so let's just write a logic to actually check if that course is already registered then i don't want to have it appear and that's also very simple so in here before we append the course title to our course list or our courses list we can write in a logic and i can say that if the course title not in self dot courses and i'll bring in a colon over here and i'll indent this so this is very simple so if the course title you are trying to pass not in you see we are using the membership operator over here which is the in and we are negating it over here so if it is not in the self dot courses we have over here then i would want to append so this is very simple so now i'll save this and even though here we have python calculus calculus and python over here now when i run this i only get python and calculus because when it was adding this it realized that okay it is not in it because initially it is set to zero so on line 47 it added python then on line 48 it checked is the course title calculus already in that list so let me just put out a comment over here so at this moment it only added python so we only had python over here then when it came here it checked the course title i'm passing over here which is calculus is it already in the list no so therefore i can have the python i can have the python and the calculus then when it came here it checked is calculus in the list based on the logic we have on line 43 and he said well calculus is in the list so it doesn't add it and then it is also checking for python over here so clearly everything is looking good over here so now let's add new i mean new courses and let's say i can see student one dot add and let's say i want to add something like i want to add something like african studies then i would also want to add something like um something like let's say project work okay so this is looking good so now everything is going to appear as i have over here so he says there's python there's calculus there's african studies there's project work and this can just be like the code behind a button so that whenever you click it just picks up the course code and it adds it up onto your system so now we are adding courses over here and this is very simple now the next thing to do is to drop a course and it is going to be a reverse of what we have over here so that's also going to be very simple so now let's have this method and we are going to call this drop underscore course over here and once again we pass in self and the course title and i bring in a colon over here and now we are going to say that if the course title in self dot courses okay in self dot courses because this is if it is not in it then we append but if it is in it then what do we do then we remove so i can now do self dot courses dot and we have a remove method over here and it says it removes the first occurrence of value okay so what do you want to remove we want to remove the course title over here if we apply this append or sorry this remove method and because we are already checking to make sure that there are no duplicates in our list in this case then we don't have any problem whether it is the first occurrence because it is only going to have one occurrence of that so now everything is looking good so currently when i run this we have this 
number of courses over here so now let me try um dropping a course so let me just comment what i have over here no i'll just leave it and let's say i want to drop python so i can do student one dot and i have drop course over here and the title i need to pass over here is python so now if i'm to come back here and print the courses initially this is what is going to print out let me just comment this so when i run this we have python calculus and african studies and everything over here now if i uncomment this and what i have over here line 57 kicks in now i'm dropping python so now when i run this you can see that python has been removed because when it came here if course title in self.courses python was already there so now self.courses.remove and i'm passing in that course title which is python so currently you can see that i have calculus african studies and project work showing up over here now this is very interesting if i'm to do small letter p python and run this this we have discussed over and over and over again in class that python is case sensitive so definitely this may not make it work but now the next challenge i want to have for you is let's disregard whether it is lowercase or uppercase and let's try and implement something which is just going to check if it is indeed the same name of the course and that's why in systems like this you want to use the course code because the course code one two three is never going to change students are not going to have problems typing in one two three or the errors are going to be reduced as compared to writing in names like this so please write in a simple logic in addition to what we have over here to disregard whether it is lowercase or uppercase all right but for now let's leave it this way and everything is working perfectly so now we have um, i mean implemented the add courses and also the drop courses over here now let's look at the last method we need to write and this is to print all the register courses now currently this is printing all the register courses but then i want to have a method to do that and that method is going to be an interesting one so now let's have this in here and i'm c def and i'm going to say print underscore all underscore courses over here so now this is going to be or oh, i'm going to pass in self obviously and i think this is just about it because i don't need a course title i'm not adding or removing anything over here and i'm just going to say print and if i'm to say self.courses something interesting is going to happen over here so over here i'm just going to say students one dot and i'm going to grab print all courses this is a method so i need to bring this over here so now when i run this we do get this over here and because we are already printing over here we can just get rid of this print because it is obviously returning none so now when i do this this is looking good but now i would want us to look through this and do a little bit more with this so now i can say for courses in self dot courses i'm just looping through this and i'll just want to print out courses this way and i need to indent this so now when i do it this way and come back here to print all courses or call the method we have this showing up in this particular order so everything is nicely formatted now one of the things i would want to also do is i want to add in a little bit of style into this whole thing we have over here and let me just open this up a little bit so your print all courses i'd also want to do something like this now i'd want to um for instance count the number of courses i've registered so first of all let me just do this i'd want to print something like this and in here i'm going to use a formatted string as well then i'll bring the placeholder and i want to grab in self so i can say self dot and i don't want to use full name over here so i want to say like let's say joanna okay joanna jones has registered let's say 20 courses and these are the courses printed out over here nicely so joanna jones has registered okay so now when i run this we see something like joanna jones has registered calculus joanna jones has registered and 
this can be quite irritating and that's because we have this print inside of this loop so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this Control x and bring this out of that loop so that it doesn't loop as many times as we have over there so now when i run this i do get joanna jones has registered and this is showing up over here now what i want to do is i just want to have this print and just bring in some dashes over here so i can bring in this dash and i'm going to do times let's say 30. so this is a valid python expression we are just multiplying whichever character you have over here by 30 times so when i save this and run this here we have joanna jones has registered and we are getting this over here and these are the courses but then i want to have something like joanna jones has registered nine courses or let's say three courses and this is going to be based on the number of courses in here so currently there are three courses and uh, that's what i want to see so joanna jones has registered three courses so joanna jones has registered and in here i can also bring in a placeholder and i'll say self dot and now you can see that i have courses over here this is going to be the list okay but then i don't want this whole list thing showing up over here but then instead i want to have the lane so i'll wrap everything up in a lane function so i'll do it this way and now i can have something like joanna jones has registered the number so now when i run this over here you see joanna jones has registered three and then i'll add in courses in here so now i run this and it says joanna jones has registered three courses and let me just um for instance make this 35 or let me make it 40. okay so run this and you can see joanna jones has registered three courses so now let's say joanna jones register another course so currently python was dropped over here that's why and now let me just uncomment this and now we expect to see python added onto the list so now when i run this we now see that joanna jones has registered four courses and these are the courses as you see nicely printed out over here good so this is some of the things that works behind the scene and it is not as difficult as you think it is just trying to implement some of the things we've already done and basically everything we've done over here is to look at the methods we already know okay from the list we are using the membership operator over here and we are negating things over here we are using the if else and stuff like that and everything is exactly what we have covered in the previous video so please if you are a little bit confused just go back to that particular section get the fundamentals and everything over here is going to be very simple for you so this is going to be the end of this video now you find this content very useful there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly support my work by subscribing to the cambro tech channel also don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at Cambro Tech, we say learn programming. You can do it. Bye-bye and catch you in the next video.